In this video, we will see how to perform a full sperm analysis with Sperm Class Analyzer. For an SCA program, first analysis is motility and concentration. Load the leisure slide, place it in the microscope, run the analysis module and start the fields capture. Normally, it is necessary to analyze at least 400 sperm. This is very quick. In less than 10 seconds, you will get the full analysis of motility and concentration. SCA computes different classifications, kinematics and custom parameters numerically and graphically. Next step is morphology analysis. It requires sample staining where several methods like sperm blue or diffquick among others can be used. Stain the sample, put it in the microscope, run the analysis module and start capturing spermatozoa. Normally, it is necessary to capture 100 sperm. Just press Analyze button and the software automatically identifies the spermatozoa and analyzes the different parts. SAI classifies the spermatozoa according to a user-defined classification. DNA fragmentation analysis Put the sample in the microscope, run the analysis module and start capturing spermatozoa. Normally, it is necessary to capture 200 sperm. SAI provides a percentage of fragmented and not fragmented spermatozoa and classifies them depending on the size of the halo. Vitality must be assessed when the motility is very low. Fluovit kit is required to see the spermatozoa under fluorescence. Stain the sample using fluovit fluorochromes. Set the fluorescence of your microscope using DAPA filter and start the capture of a live and dead spermatozoa. Once the sample is analyzed, several reports can be obtained. Reports can include your company logo type, all analysis data, the desired images and graphics, and any parameters needed. Beside more than 15 default reports, Microptic will prepare the best suited document to present your analysis data. SAI Sample Management Double-click on SAI Evolution icon to open the Sample Management. Select the user and type its password. A new samples window with its reference will be displayed. If SAI is connected to the main laboratory information system, it is possible to get information automatically or to transfer all microscopic sample information from LIS. Remember that sample reference must be unique. Optionally, default fields of the sample can be modified, like center, delivery time, volume, pH, temperature, liquefaction, or sample completeness between others. All these fields can be customized. It is also possible to read the sample reference and volume automatically using a barcode reader or a scale respectively. 
motility, and concentration sample preparation. First step is to prepare a sample for motility and concentration analysis. Other disposable slides can be used. Take the sample at 37 degrees centigrade, mix gently and pick 5 microliters using a positive displacement pipette. Load the sample, placing the tip in one of the filling spots. Observe as the filling front has freed the outstream opening of the chamber. Then remove excess fluid. The slide is ready to be analysed. Microscope settings. For the motility and concentration analysis, we'll use the green filter, condenser at pH 1 position and 10x phase conscious objective. Remember that it is also possible to use the fluorescence. Motility and concentration analysis. It is possible to access the analysis module from the respective button in results tab or from the icons bar. In this window, the user can choose different analysis configurations. This is the main analysis window where the sample information is presented. Press Analyze to start. Live image is displayed. Focus the fill and start the analysis clicking again the Analyze button. Main analysis information is always present on this side. All captured sequences can be played in the Analysis User tab. Using Results menu, user can choose different sperm classifications and mark or unmark which spermatozoa are displayed. It is also possible to see information of a single sperm, double-clicking on it and opening Sperm Info tab. Clicking on Results, Capture window closes and results can be checked in Analysis window, presented in table or graphic format. Additional Results tab presents the classification of several groups created by the user as hyperactive, mucus penetration or round cells. Moreover, SAI provides the kinematic distribution of spermatozoa, a graphical comparison of the capture fields, a table with information of each spermatozoan, and finally, a summarization tool where users can get any statistical data required. It is very easy to access the analysis report, which can be exported to any format. The analysis can be saved in the database thus presented in the sample management window, where all the results and reader graphic are displayed. Furthermore, it is possible to read the sample and obtain several reports, among other options. Morphology Sample Preparation Morphology analysis requires the staining of the semen sample. Sperm Blue, Diff Quick, Papa Nicolau or Shore are also appropriate. First step is to do a smear. Apply a 5 to 10 microliters aliquot of semen, depending on sperm concentration, to the end of the slide placed in horizontal position. Use a second slide, placed at a 45 degree angle, to pull the drop of semen along the slide surface.
allow the slide to dry in air and follow the staining protocol. Allow the slide to dry in air and mount it using EU kit mounting medium. Apply one or two drops of EUQUID and quickly place a cover glass of 24 by 60 mm allowing the mounting medium to distribute homogeneously by gravity. The slide is ready to be analysed. Microscope settings For morphology analysis, we'll use the blue filter condenser in bright field position, and 100x oil objective. Morphology analysis. Access the analysis module from the respective button in results tab or from the icons bar. From this window, user can choose different analysis configurations. This is the main analysis window where the sample information is presented. Press Analyze button to display the live image. Focus the field and analyze it clicking again the Analyze button. Fields are captured and analyzed automatically. All captured images are displayed in the Analysis tab. Marking or unmarking results check boxes, we can display or hide the partial mask of the morphology analysis. Double click on a spermatozoan to visualize the individual analysis results in a sperm info tab. Click on Results to close Capture window. Results are displayed in table or graphic format in the Analysis window. Additional Results tab presents a classification of different spermatozoa groups created by the user. Additionally, SAI provides a graphical comparison of the capture fields, a table with information of each spermatozoan and a summarization tool where the user can obtain any statistical data desired. It is very easy to access the analysis report, which can be exported to any format. The analysis can be saved in the database thus presented in the sample management window where all the results and radio graphic are displayed. Furthermore, it is possible to read the sample and obtain several reports among other options. DNA fragmentation sample preparation. 
Dilute the semen sample between 5 and 10 million sperm cells per milliliter in PBS or diluting agent with low protein content. Heat the Eppendorf tubes in the microwave for 2 minutes at maximum power to liquefy the agarose. Alternatively, place the tubes in a water bath with boiling water during 5 minutes. Transfer the tubes to an incubator or water bath at 37 degrees centigrade during 5 minutes to avoid producing heat shock when introducing the sperm cells into the agarose matrix. Add 25 microliters of diluted cement to the liquefied agarose and homogenize. Place a 15 microliter drop of the mixture onto the pre-treated side of the slide and cover with a cover slip. Make sure to avoid the presence of air bubbles. Place the slide on a cold surface such as a metal plate and introduce it in the fridge at 4 degrees for 5 minutes so as to solidify the agarose gel. Whilst the agarose is setting, prepare the denaturing solution AD by adding 80 microliters of the AD solution to 10 milliliters of distilled water. As its name suggests, the denaturing solution separates the DNA strands. Take the slide out of the refrigerator and remove the cover slip by sliding off gently with your finger. Be careful not to lift it up directly. Incubate the slide and the denaturing solution during 7 minutes at room temperature. Always maintain the slide in a horizontal position. Remove the slide from the AD solution using forceps and place it in lysis solution for 25 minutes. The lysis solution removes most of the nuclear proteins giving rise to the chromatin dispersion halos that determine the amount of fragmentation that the DNA has incurred. Remove the slide from the lysis solution and wash in distilled water during 5 minutes. Incubate sequentially in ethanol at 70, 90 and 100% for 2 minutes each to fix the sample. Leave the slide to dry at room temperature. Once fixed, the slides can be stored indefinitely and stained at a later stage. The last step is to stain the slide. Use DIFQUIC for visualization under a bright field microscope or any DNA specific fluorochrome for visualization under fluorescence microscopy. For bright field microscopy, incubate the slide in eosin for 6 minutes and then a further 6 minutes in Azure B. Leave to dry at room temperature without washing. Once dry, the slide can be analysed under the microscope. We recommend classifying 500 sperm cells to obtain a representative sample of the population. With these simple criteria, we can establish the percentage of sperm cells with fragmented DNA in the sample. 
A percentage of damaged cells above 30% is considered pathological. Microscope settings. For DNA fragmentation analysis, we'll use the green filter, condenser at bright field position, and 20x objective. Remember that it is also possible to use the fluorescence. DNA fragmentation analysis. It is possible to access the analysis module from the respective pattern in results tab or from the icons bar. This is the main analysis window where the sample information is presented. Press Analyze icon to start the analysis. Live image is displayed and after focusing we can start analyzing several fields just clicking Analyze. Once a desired number of spermatozoa is analyzed, the following message is displayed. In the Analysis tab, the user can see all the captured fields and spermatozoa analyzed. Double-clicking over any analyzed spermatozoa, the individual analysis information is retrieved and it is presented in the Sperm Info tab. Marking or unmarking results checkboxes, we can display or hide the partial mask of the morphology analysis. Close the capture window, clicking on results. These are displayed in the analysis window in a table or graphic format. The additional results tab presents the classification of the several groups of spermatozoa created by the user. Additionally, SAI provides a graphical comparison of the captured fields, a table with information of each spermatozoan, and a summarization tool where the user can obtain any statistical data desired. It is very easy to access the analysis report, which can be exported to any format. The analysis can be saved in the database, thus presented in the sample management window, where all the results and reader graphic are displayed. Furthermore, it is possible to read the sample and obtain several reports, among other options. Vitality sample preparation. Vitality analysis requires the use of a fluorescence staining kit. In this tutorial, we'll use Fluovid, but other staining methods like DuoVital are also appropriate. First, Put 10 microliters of semen sample in an empty Eppendorf. Add 1 microliter of blue Eppendorf stain, previously heated at 37 degrees centigrade. Mix slightly and keep an incubator at 37 degrees centigrade for 5 minutes.
Take off the Eppendorf from the incubator and add one microliter of red Eppendorf stain previously heated at 37 degrees centigrade. Mix gently with the micropipette and keep the Eppendorf in the incubator at 37 degrees centigrade for 5 minutes. Last step is to put a small aliquot of 10 microliters of stained sample on a standard slide. Cover with cover glass. And the slide is ready to be analysed under fluorescence. Microscope settings. For vitality analysis, we'll turn off the microscope light. It doesn't matter the condenser position. We'll use the 20x objective and the fluorescence module with a DAPI filter. Vitality Analysis Access the Analysis module from the respective button in Results tab or from the Icons bar. This is the main analysis window where the sample information is presented. Press Analyze button to display the live image. Focus the fill and analyze it clicking again the Analyze button. Fills are captured and analyzed automatically. Once the desired number of spermatozoa is analysed, the following message is displayed. All captured images are displayed in the Analysis tab. Marking or unmarking results checkboxes, we can display or hide the spermatozoa of the vitality analysis. Main analysis information is always present on this side. Double-click on a spermatozoan to visualize the individual analysis results in Sperm Info tab. Click on Results to close Capture window. Results are displayed in table or graphic format in the Analysis window. Additional Results tab presents a classification of different spermatozoa groups created by the user. Additionally, SAI provides a graphical comparison of the capture fields a table with information of each spermatozoan and a summarization tool where the user can obtain any statistical data desired. It is very easy to access the analysis report, which can be exported to any format. The analysis can be saved in the database that's presented in the sample management window, where all the results and reader graphic are displayed. Furthermore, it is possible to rate the sample and obtain several reports, among other options.
SAI Manual Counter is a user-friendly tool that permits to count and take pictures of any visualized cellular sample. It is possible to access the Manual Analysis module from the icons bar. It contains default counters for concentration, motility, morphology, DNA fragmentation, vitality used in this tutorial, and round cells, but any customized counter can be created. This is the main analysis window where the sample information is presented. Press Analyze to start. Live image is displayed. Focus the field and start counting. There are three different ways to add spermatozoa. Pressing the keyboard key counter, clicking the counter button or clicking on the live image. Check that the count increases with every click. To change the cell type, choose it from toolbox or use the respective key. It is also possible to correct the capture using toolbox. We can also measure areas, perimeters and distances. Clicking on results, capture window closes and results can be checked in analysis window, presented in table or graphic format. It is very easy to access the analysis report, which can be exported to any format. If we use a default counter, the analysis can be saved in the database that's presented in the sample management window, where all the results and reader graphic are displayed. Furthermore, it is possible to read the sample and obtain several reports, among other options.